What's up guys, today I got my rally car out. This is my custom built rally car. It's basically a mishmash of uh, Typhon and Sentin and uh, some special tuning. Uh, this thing is modeled after the old Group B rally from the 80s. Just insane rally car action. I love this body design. This is the Elantia Delta Integrale. Uh, my favorite rally car. I've done several videos on this car, but I thought I would get this thing back out. I'm really enjoying running some of my older builds. This thing is such a little land rocket. I'm gonna do some trail running with it like a real rally car and just have some fun. Again, the body is a Lancia Delta Integrale body. It came from Delta Plastics. They got all kinds of awesome bodies, uh, rally car bodies and racing bodies. I've had several guys lately ask me about this car and want me to do another running video of it. I've included this car in a couple of videos, but haven't done a video solely on this thing. I am throwing up some footage at the end of the video of some, some past runs, some uh, hard rips and stuff at different construction sites. This thing is such a little such a little ripper, but I'll go over the inside real quick. Just of all, it is running the M2C 3mm light and race chassis on here, which is perfect for this platform. It does have a T-bone bumper in the front, uh, one of the old school bumpers. I don't think you can get those anymore. And it is running a T-bone wheelie bar bumper in the back, uh, minus the wheelie bar, but it makes a perfect skid. It's running Sentin towers, Sentin body mounts, and Sentin shocks on it, upgraded to aluminum caps. I got 2000 CST in the shocks. It's a little bit stiff for off-road, but it makes a perfect perfect on-road slash off-road combo. Right now it's got a BLX 185 system in it, a BLX 185 ESC, and also the 2050 KV motor. Um, I did have a Turnigy motor in this thing in some of the earlier earlier videos, but that motor ended up blowing up on me, so I just threw in a good old uh, BLX 2050, can't go wrong with that, with a Hobby Wing uh, heat sink. I believe I'm running 1746 gearing. It's got hot racing uh, chassis braces. Uh, again, this thing's pretty old school. It's got the GKA. A chassis brace stopper back there. It has the beautiful M2C Racing locking hinge pin kit in the back. As far as the diffs, it's just running a basic bash setup on it, so it's good for all around terrain, which is 50,000, 200,000, and 30,000 in the back. It does have the Sentin cage on it to help protect the body, and again, the Sentin body mounts. As far as the back ones back here to reach the body, I did have to use some really long body post and then just reinforce it with some uh, a Gorilla Tape. As far as the tires right now, she is running some old Sentin tires. They're pretty bald. But it's just really cool for, for drifting and ripping around out here. I just hope they hold up. These are some really old tires. It's really hard to even get these anymore. I've tried to find some actual rally car tires for this thing, but it's just really hard to find something for this 1.8 scale platform and also something that'll handle 6S power. But for now, we'll run these. I've also got some Typhon guitars. And then, of course, I run uh, hoons on it when I'm on the street. So, all right, guys, we're going to get for a quick little blast out here and see how it goes. Yep, she's in the lead. Oh, pit crew quick, we got a flat tire, we got to go. All right, new tires, clean the windshield, and we're off. Oh, she hugged that corner. All right, guys, she's back in first place. Recovery.
guys. Let's send a rally car. <laughs> she made it. Looks like I lost my spoiler. Oh man, and she made a recovery. Oh, oh that was close. ultimate rally car burnout.